Well, ladies and gentlemen, this channel is called One Review a Day, and uh, seems like I'm doing one review a month, but uh, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I wanted to talk today about the irony of how everything goes full circle. You know, it's weird because uh, you look at certain things and you think, like, where is this going? Well, where it's going is just going in a in a circle. That's where it's going. Everything just goes around full circle. Like the, well, that's not very, <laughs> that was not a very good uh, description of what's going on. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so things go around in full circle and you're wondering, who cares, Tony? So you haven't done a video in a month. You clearly, uh, you're not a man of your word. You can't do one review a day. So why, why are you making videos? Well, I wanted to talk about the irony of Netflix and the irony of how people used to make fun of you. Okay, so back in the day, people used to have cable television, right? You go to your grandma's house and she's got like, I like to watch my television shows. And you look at grandma and you think, Jesus Christ, grandma, get with the goddamn times. Nobody has cable television anymore, you know? Young people don't have cable television. Why would a young person pay $100 a month for cable TV when you can just get a Netflix account for like, you know, $10 or it used to be 7 or $8. Now it's gone up, right? So you think nobody's getting cable television, right? Um, now I'm sure you know where this video is going. This is not a very... Uh, Everyone's caught on now. You know, I used to talk about this a few years ago and people were kind of like, what? I think it's kind of obvious what's going on now, right? How everything goes around full circle. So you have your sweet grandma. She's got her $100 cable um, that she pays for every month. And you're thinking, come on, just get like, just get a Netflix account, right? Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> Again, back in the day, this made complete sense because you have cable television and some people pay $50 a month for cable TV, some people pay 100 who knows, depends what kind of package you have. And you're thinking, well, I can just pay like 8 bucks a month or $10 a month and I have Netflix and it's got so much cool stuff, right? Now, the huge advantage that Netflix used to have is that they really had no competition. So when Netflix first came out, uh, they would go to all these networks like NBC, ABC, blah, 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 whatever these networks are. And Netflix would be like, oh, hey, guys, um, gee, can we, uh, you know, the show Friends or like the show uh, The Office, can we, uh, you know, can we put it on Netflix? And these companies were like, what? What, what the hell? What, what is Netflix? And they're just like, well, you know, we have this like little streaming service and, you know, we like to put shows on there for people to watch. You know, we'll pay you $100,000 if you, if you, you know, give us a license to, for The Office or Friends or whatever. And these networks were like, what the hell? You, you want to pay us like large amounts of money just so you can borrow our shows? They're like, sure, why not? They're making a killing, right? They're like, that's awesome. Because... There was really nothing around like Netflix. So what Netflix ended up doing is they bought the licensing for all these shows and they had so much stuff. So you're thinking, oh my God, for, you know, back in the day it was like $7 or $8 a month and you get so many shows and you're thinking, who the hell would still have cable? Who the hell would still pay for $100 a month for cable? And this was amazing for quite a long time. Until these other billion dollar companies started noticing what was going on. They're like, hey, wait a second. Well, wait a second. What's going on here? This Netflix thing is interesting. So what are all these companies wanting to do now? NBC, ABC, Disney, Fox, Time Warner, whatever hell these companies are. They're realizing, wait a second. We don't want to let Netflix borrow our shows anymore. We want to stream them ourselves. So they caught on to it. It took a while. Like I said, it took a while. That's why Netflix at the beginning was really enticing because they had all the shows. But now all these uh, networks, I, 
own these shows like Friends and The Office. They're like, we don't want to give them to you anymore, Netflix. Instead of licensing to you, how about we keep them for our own streaming service? Yeah, yeah that's better. So what's happening now is that all these other companies and networks have caught on and they're like, no, 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 we're not just going to give these shows to Netflix anymore. We're going to create our own streaming service. Now, what does that really mean? Well, that means that your, your sweet grandma who used to pay $100 a month for her cable because all her television shows were on there, that's going to be you, right? That's going to be you. But I like all my uh, Netflix subscriptions and I have Hulu and I have Apple and I have this and I have that. And eventually you're going to pay $10 for each one. Why? Because every single network, every single company is going to have their own TV shows. They're not just going to give them to Netflix anymore. Hey, we created these shows. You don't get the license and we're going to stream them ourselves. So in order for you to watch all the television shows and all the shows you love, you're going to have to buy a subscription for each one, right? Because only like 10% of the shows you watch are going to be on Netflix. So there's going to be like 10 streaming companies and they're all going to be $10 each and you're going to end up paying $100 a month for all your shows that you watch, just like your sweet grandma, you know? You're thinking, God, grandma, you're sweet, but you're not that bright. $100 a month, yeah, but all my shows are on these. That's going to be you. So you're going to be this guy who pays $100 a month for 10 different streaming services. And then, the, and then a young person beside you is going to be like, hey, dummy, He'd be like, yeah, why the, who the hell still uh, has subscription based? Nobody has that anymore. And you're going to be like, what do you mean? This is, I'm young. This is the youth. The new thing is clearly going to be, let's see, do I pay $100 a month for 10 different streaming services or do I just pay $4 a month for a VPN? Now you're probably thinking, Tony, what are you promoting here? What are you doing with this VPN? Well, that's up to you. I'm not going to give you specifics of what you're doing. You can do whatever you want with it, right? Now you're thinking, Tony, that's not nice for you to promote this whole VPN thing. We know where you're going with that. Okay, well, here's the thing. Let's talk about reality, right? Because we all like to talk about being the good guy. I recycle. I, I save the planet. I adopt puppies. But let's just talk about modern day reality for a second, right? I live in southern Ontario. Ontario is a province in Canada, for anyone who might not know. Um, prices in southern Ontario, and I'm sure this is very common all over the world. Prices have gotten so ridiculous for rent, for mortgages, for houses. It's like almost impossible to even survive anymore. Like, I'm talking like idiotic money it, it's for rent prices mortgage food any sort of thing it's gotten so idiotically expensive to live it's almost like it's almost like a fucking joke it's so stupidly expensive to live that i'm actually surprised that people are not just out on the street rioting like that's how bad it's gone it's so ridiculous like it's absolute nonsense so you're thinking, well, what are you promoting, Tony, with this VPN thing and $4 a month? I'm promoting reality. Now, the reality is for a lot of people, they can't afford to uh, buy 10 different subscriptions for $10 a month because that's what it's going to turn into. It was cute when every single show was on Netflix and you got it for like eight bucks. You're like, holy shit, that wasn't going to last long. Obviously, all these networks and all these companies, we're going to catch on eventually and realize what's going on, Right. That, that day is slowly fading away. So the way your sweet grandma was with her $100 cable package, that's going to be the next generation with her $100 subscription packages. And then the generation uh, after that, they're going to be a little a bit wiser. They're like, we're not doing that. We're just going to get a VPN for five bucks a month. Guess what's now? My guess is that what's going to happen is that the prices for VPNs is going to go way up. My prediction is that like whatever you're paying for VPN service now, whether it's $5 a month or $8 a month or $10 a month, I guarantee you the most 
that's going to go up a lot because I, I have a feeling within the next 10 years, the most um, precious, most valuable thing you're going to have is a VPN. And I guarantee you the price is... A, let me put it this way. If right now, if they offer like 10-year deals for VPNs for like $3 a month like that you can get now, that's probably a really good deal because I think the most you can get is like a three-year deal with a lot of these services. I guarantee you if there's a way to get a 10-year deal for $3 a month, you should get it because the second people catch on to this, the fact that like you're going to need 10 different streaming services to watch all the shows you watch, I guarantee you everyone will be getting VPNs and the price for VPNs is going for VPNs is going to go way up. Um, so that's where that's the irony. Everything going around full circle. That's really all it is. It's just like the idea of how everything just really comes around again. Um, and uh, for all the people saying, come on, Tony, VPNs, where are you going with that? I know where you're going with that. You should be an honest citizen and pay your $100 a month to watch your shows. And if you can't afford them, don't watch them. That sounds cute. That sounds really cute. It also, adopting 85 puppies sounds cute because I want to save the life of 85 puppies. But that's not reality. The reality is, is that it's gotten so idiotically expensive to live that people are spending 90% of their income on rent. So the reality is people will get the $5 VPN unless it gets pricey too. Because that is, for most people, that's going to be a much more reasonable alternative than to pay for 10 different subscription services. Uh, and, and that's what people will do, whether it's the moral thing to do, whether it doesn't matter. People do what they need to do to survive. And when, you know, uh, when it's gotten to the point where it's so idiotically expensive just to have a place to live and survive and buy food and, and, uh, that's what people will do. They're not going to pay a hundred dollars a month to have 10 different subscriptions. So if you own stock in a VPN company, you're going to probably be rich within the next five to 10 years because I have a feeling the value of VPNs is going to go way up. Um, and this irony of things going around full circle, that just everything just kind of goes around in cycles. And it really is funny when you look at it and see how it is, how clever people thought they were with their $8 Netflix subscription when people are paying $100 for cable and how ironically you're going to be just like your grandma soon enough. Unless you just abandon all those subscription services and just get a VPN. And what you do with that VPN, well, that's up to you. I'm not going to give any details. But uh, yeah, that's the state of, uh, I was going to say that's the state of subscription-based services. But I, that, I don't know. And that's pretty much it. So basically, I've been gone for a month. And this is all I got just this video on uh, things going around full circle and that's pretty much it so uh until the next video have a great day and i'll uh i'll until the next video have a great day and i'll see you in the next video Jeez, i'm really rusty i haven't done this in a while anyways bye guys <laughs>